Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm using Cricut Holographic Vinyl and we'll be placing it on these cute little candle jars that I got from Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and go to my workspace. And let's enter a text. You will notice on the right side panel that there's only one layer. And I'm just going to bring the text up here for a better view. Then go to Advanced and ungroup the lines. Notice on the right side panel that there are now two layers. So let's click on this text and I'm changing the font to American Typewriter. Then click on this text and change the font to Gabe Lisa. Now I'm going to resize this text. And right here, this is the letter space and by clicking on the down arrow, you can bring the letters closer to each other. Or you can ungroup and manually bring the letters closer to each other. Also notice that there are now lots of layers on the right side panel. So let's select this text and click Weld. It is now one layer. I'm just going to move around both texts and see where I want to place them. Resize this text. Select both. Go up to Align and scroll down to Horizontal. Now I'm going to grab a shape and I'm using this as a reference on how big I would like my image to be. So I'm going to unlock it right here. Since I already measured the jar, and the measurements I'm using is 2 inch in width by 1.25 in height. Then I'm going to change the color up here for a better view. I'm going to select both text and group it. I'm going to make the text smaller and I'm just going to zoom in. Then place the text in front of the shape so I can see how big I can get this image to fit onto the shape. Now I'm just going to unlock the image just so I can stretch the image a little bit and just kind of play with it. This looks okay with me so I'm just going to hide the shape. Select both layers and click attach then make it. Then click continue. I usually leave my dial in custom settings. Click on browse materials. I'm going to type up holographic. Then I'm going to choose holographic sparkle vinyl and click done. I don't know about you, but for me, I like to change the pressure to more. I'm going to get my mat and my vinyl ready. And as you can see that I'm just using one of my scraps. Insert the mat onto your machine and hit start. Now that it's done cutting, I'm just going to remove the vinyl from the mat. Trim the vinyl. Weed the vinyl that I don't need. And I'm going to be very careful because the image is so small and thin, I didn't want to rip the vinyl. Sometimes I like to trim the excess vinyl. This way, the adhesive vinyl side doesn't touch the vinyl that I'm actually going to use as a decal. Now I'm placing a transfer tape, burnish, and trim. And right here, I'm just going to flip this over to gently remove the backing of the vinyl. 
Now I'm just using an alcohol pad to clean the jar to ensure there is no oil or any kind of residue. This way the vinyl will for sure stick to the surface. Then place the vinyl onto the surface. Then I press from the middle, then outward. Then just remove the transfer tape. And there you go. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment below. And definitely hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.